Hi, it's Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. Welcome to my vlog for July. We had a really good question this month. It's one that I'm like kind of waiting to dig in on. First off, she started with a compliment, so I was reeled in right away. Here's the question. Your stencils are mind blowing. This is kind of a two part question. It kind of goes hand in hand and being a newbie, I would love to know the following. I'm curious as to how you come up with your idea for a stencil. I mean, do you have a certain thing that helps you have ideas pop into your head, like walking and thinking or playing with paints? What are you normally doing when you get your creative ideas? What would your suggestions be to help get one's creative juices flowing for putting together stencils in different combinations? Those are two great questions. The first one, where do I get my ideas? I get my ideas for stencils from everyday life. I do not sit down in the studio and go, oh, what do I want to do as a stencil? I am just like living my life. And as most of us do, I live it with a smartphone. And I'm carrying my phone around with me when I'm taking a walk or whatever I might be doing. And I will snap photos here and there. And I find that my own photography inspires me to design stencils. For instance, when we were on vacation in Puerto Rico, we got a flat tire. So John was waiting for the, like the people to come to fix the tire and I'm just like roaming around. There were chickens walking around and all sorts of things happening. It was very fascinating. But I became interested in the sidewalks and I started looking at them closer and closer and Puerto Rico sidewalks became a thing. I photographed them and I loved the different designs I was finding in the sidewalks. And when I designed these, I designed them as two parts so you would get the positive and the negative of the stencil. And that was really fun. It was a great idea. Another time when we were in Puerto Rico, can you tell we like it there? I did wrought iron because there's so many gates in front of homes and I just think it's beautiful. This is one of my wrought iron pieces, my stencil from Puerto Rico. So yeah, I see them everywhere, just in my life. For a long time on Instagram, I used to use a hashtag, I see stencils everywhere, because I swear that is how I work. I just see something and think, oh, that should be a stencil. And if it's complex, and if it's something that I know no other company has done, even better. It is really up to me that I'm, I'm almost on a mission to figure out how could this become a stencil? How could we make this work? So thank you for asking that question. I love it. Now for the second part of the question, what are ideas to use stencils in combination? Well, all right, first of all, I would usually say like pick a topic. So for, for instance, like if I was going to use flowers as my topic, I would just hone in on the flower stencils. I don't like to, like I probably wouldn't use flowers and circles and squares and geometrics all in the same thing. I would just focus on flowers. And then I think of it as a three part. For In my mind, it's a layering decision. So I think of having the most open stencil be the first layer and then you might move to more of a middle sized stencil to be the second layer and then a tiny stencil to add the details on top or maybe a linear stencil to add detail. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I grabbed a bunch of our floral stencils and um, this one would be a great kind of beginning stencil to get your background down. You could just use it all over the page to get going then you could isolate some of the flowers in here on top to kind of really punctuate the idea that you're using flowers in this piece. Then you could go to a linear stencil that echoes flower shapes and leaves that go with flowers and or something like this that adds little details that are reminiscent of stencils. So for me, that's how I would do it. The other thing is a lot of our designers design in series. 
So if we're on the theme of flowers, for instance, Ray Missigman, she has a whole series of stencils with flowers of different sizes that go together. Jennifer Evans, same way. Linda Edkins Wyatt, a lot of our designers work in series like that and they kind of help you make the decision. So just poke around on the website and see what you can find. I think you'll just be amazed at all of the offerings we have. It's over 2,000 stencils, people. We're a little bit nuts for stencils, but that's the way we like it. So thank you for watching. Ask me anything. If you have a question for me, please put it in the comments below and put your email along with, and then you will get a gift card from Stencil Girl Products so you can buy stencils of your own. Thanks again for watching.